All right, here we are, hole number four. I'm going to take a look at this one. Uh, this is going to be a tricky shot to do. May want to be thinking about doing this with a sniper. I uh, brought a QB. I wanted to see what the wind angle was, especially with a crosswind. I'm probably going to stick with going with a sniper here. I would imagine I'm going to at least go max plus some uh, wind effect as well. You can see that you kind of shoot down a little low. It's not very, uh, I'm sure we won't be towards max, but you'll still want to kind of do some kind of overplay, especially with uh, wind effect. As you can see, that is a bit light right there. Uh, it's gonna be even harder with only wind three balls. So Kingmaker is going to be very challenging shot here. As you can see, I get the max wind. This is actually two in a row par threes that I got the max wind. So kind of annoying to have that happen, but uh, let's see what I can do. Thinking somewhere around here with my ball guide offset. So you can see with how I'm kind of positioning that, a little bit of top spin as well. And I'm just going to go maybe 3.5 rings there. I am gonna use the max ring adjustment about 13 and a half rings plus you can see the wind effect that I was playing as well let's just see how that looks looks just a tiny bit light that's actually significantly light so it's gonna require a you know a, a very large adjustment there for you to be able to uh, get that one as you can see I went substantial there 13 four, almost 14 rings plus you can see I played almost what two or three at least two grids to the left as well. And still, the ball's way over there. That's that's how important wind effect is, especially in these uh, especially in these later tours, and especially as wind intensifies. Keep in mind, you know, a 10 wind and a 12 wind, it's gonna kind of change the amount that the wind effect is gonna push the ball slightly. So, you know, that just kind of goes to show kind of how um, you know, likely you'll be able to pull shots off and, um, you know, how tough that it is to re repeat on time and time basis, because, you know, I might get a 12 wind, I may get a 10 wind. The wind effect isn't going to be the same for both. Um, so with that in mind, you know, you really have to be able to adapt and kind of change, you know, you might need to go two and a half green grids for, or for a 12.3 uh, versus a 10.9, you may only have to go 2.3 or 2.2 grids of offsets, for example. You know, and those are just examples, but, you know, just keep that in mind that the amount that you'll need to go is going to need to vary. So you can't just do the same thing every time and uh, just try to hone in on that ring adjustment. So good luck there, and I'll see you guys on the next.